Alright, we're in the Culinarian's Guild. Let's, uh, let's get our cooking skills on. Alright, Ling Soth wants to assign you your first task. I see you're holding the skill of the right way round. Good. A culinarian lives and dies by his utensils. Get that into your head before you do aught else, or your food will look like shit and taste worse. Now let's see what you can do. For starters, I want you to make me maple syrup using your skillet. Recipes are simple as they come. You only need two things, maple sap and a fire shard. Josie sells some... Josie sells sap over at the guild counter. Now, times are wasting, so get to work and don't keep... I, I, so get to work. It don't pay to keep folk waiting in our trade. Okay, so Guild Master Link Soth has tasked you with uh, synthesizing a pot of maple syrup. To commence, select logs from the main menu followed by crafting log. I do have one maple sap, so I don't need to... we can cook. What else can we make? Oh? Wait a minute, I thought we had a... Okay. We don't have everything else here. Okay, let's just go tell him we, we did what he wanted. What in the seven L's are you waiting for? So did you make me make a syrup, didn't I? Yeah, we made it. The maple syrup is ready. Is it? About bloody time. Let's see how it tastes then. Oh, this ain't bad. Flavor's all right. Consistency is nearly there. In, uh, in short, a damn sight better than a lot of novices manage. As you probably know, maple syrup is one of the most popular sweeteners around, and a key ingredient in all manner of cakes and treats. What you probably didn't know is that boiling the stuff down gives you maple sugar, a different sweetener with different uses. This goes to show, even the simplest ingredients can have hidden complexities. I said earlier that a culinarian lives and dies by his utensils, well that's just the half of it. You also need to know ingredients, and that's... And that's some says. And that's summit as only comes with experience. Keep your nose on the stove and report back when you're ripe for another task. The next culinarian quest will be available from Lizgard upon reaching level 5. So how about uh, we just buy some maple... Let's buy some, uh... Interesting. some maple sap from her. However, she doesn't seem to be selling maple sap though. 
Okay, let's let's look at higher level logs. We need grapes. We'd need like three rye. This should sell right. Some rye here. We don't have any of that. Wild water, chicken, egg, and mineral water, lowland grapes. Let's see if we can buy lowland grapes from her. Let's buy the chicken egg. We also need mineral water. Let's go see what basic touch actually does. Okay, increases quality. Okay. Now. Chicken egg and uh, mineral water synthesize. Let's see, improving item quality. Increasing an item's quality during synthesis improves the chances that the resulting product will be of a higher grade. Quality is normally improved by using touch actions. However, in addition to reducing material durability, these actions also require crafting points to execute. The higher the overall quality of the completed item, the higher the experience point reward will be. Chip. I don't think she sells this one. Oh, there it is. She sells it all. Sends. Then we're gonna need sunset wheat, old goat milk.
probably need eight cent. Can we do this? Okay, we've completed that. Then fish meal. We need to buy three fishes here. Apparently this guy does not sell, uh, she doesn't sell fish. We need crayfish and rye flour. I don't think she sells crayfish. No, she doesn't. Uh, let's look at uh, logs here and see. Sweet cream, we need buffalo milk. We need oranges. log here. Then now uh, we got some orange juice. We need three oranges. Uh, I don't think she had any oranges. Let's take a look and see here if she had any oranges. Nope, she doesn't have any oranges left. Let's see what's next in the crafting log. Since if we flaw, we can uh, synthesize that. Durability by 30. Good. Crap. Okay, so smooth butter. Smooth butter. Okay, so tree toad legs. We need a tree toad and garlic and garlic. I don't think she's gonna have a tree toad with her. smooth butters. Okay, now that that's done. I don't want to spend the whole video doing this sort of thing, so now that that's done. Let's move on. 
Lingoth wants you to cook for our fellow culinarian. You've come at a good time, Def. Just so happened you need to help with something. One of our chaps buggered up an order a bit ago and he's been down in the dumps ever since. Ingham, his name is, joined the guild a few moons before you did. Determined lad, but don't take failure too well. Any, any road? We can't have him crying into his soup. Plays up with the seasoning, see, so I want you to try cheering him up. And there's not like a good meal to take a man's mind off his failings. A nice bit of grilled trout shit to the trick, which is one of his favorites. If he was willing to cup him, cook him up a plate of that, I reckon he'd find the experience highly motivating. The main ingredient, Princess Trout, can be had at the Highland. As for Ingram, you'll find him working in the kitchens. Prepare the dish and take it to him. Happy grilling. So, we need Princess Trout. And I uh, said Princess Trout can be found at the Highland. Anyway, we can take care of that next time. Now, we need to go find the Goldsmith's Guild. I've already been to the Adventurer's Guild. You have attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards in Linsalamissa. The Zephyr Gate, the Tempest Gate, and the airship landing are now accessible as Ethernet destinations. Okay, this is the Marauder's Guild. Okay, so we're trying to find the, uh... Okay, we've already been this direction. Here's the fishmonger. How about we buy Princess Trout from him? Where are we gonna get grilled trout, the recipe? that one yet. All right, so. Okay, 
I'm not sure what I'm missing here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the uh, the blacksmith's guild was uh, supposed to be in Lensa Lamensa. It's here somewhere. We have to find it. Okay, here we are, yeah, the blacksmith's guild. Unless you're blind and deaf, I presume you've wandered into our forge of your own accord, drawn by the siren song of Ice Smitty's arm is no doubt. Let's run through this. Sorry guys, uh, let's just run through this real quickly. Bad time, Randall, send me a new recruit. It's been too long. I'm, I'm Brithril, Forge Master of the Blacksmith's Guild. If you're aiming to become a smithy worth the name, it would be my great pleasure to educate you on the finer points of the craft. Oh, the rest of these star-faced bastards will tell you it's hard grueling work, fit only for the best and brightest, but I say put a hammer in the hands of the willing and see what happens. What do you say then, lass? Will you sing a hammer for El Brithel? Yep. Alright, let's take his, uh... Let's take this. Now that there is a beautiful sight, never forget, a smithy's hammer is her one true love. Friends will betray you, lovers will leave you, but your hammer will never do you no wrong. God seeing you standing there reminds me of a less old sort and more ladyship version of my younger self. But on your, but onto your task, we ain't a congregation of soft-handled scholars here. Smithies learn by doing. Try hand at making a bronze ingot. Any smithy worth her salt's got to master the fundamentals, and you can't get more fundamental than that. It ain't complicated. Bronze is just copper and tin melted down and mixed together. So you'll be needing so you'll be needing I, that's it, copper and tin ore. And seeing as most folk don't carry stuff like that round with M without reasons, my dear outside can provide you with some for a fair price, that is. It ain't complicated, but that don't mean it's easy. You need to smelt the metals after all, and to do that you need to get them hotter than Bombard's backside. And that's all there is to it. Think you can handle it? So we'll need to find out. Uh, definitely now we'll have to see if there's a miner's guild because um, the best goddamn blacksmiths in the realm work these forges day and night. Every time I see him finishing a new piece, my heart swells with pride. Oh, this is not who we need. Hey, here's another one that looks just like us. <laughs> so much for being unique. Alright, uh, who are we supposed to talk to? Smade Hammer is the one we're looking for. Where 
Where is the so-called smith hammer? Oh, there he is. Right, we need to buy some copper ore. And we need to buy some tin ore. Bastard sword, we need four bone chips that we don't have. Purchase some more, or but, uh, it's, if you see it, um, the crafting system is very interdependent. If you don't want to be spending a whole ton of money, you'll have to learn how to do everything by yourself. bronze ingots. Case in point, look at this. If you want to make uh, a bronze war axe, we need uh, three bronze ingots and uh, maple lumber. So maple lumber will only come from uh, carpentry. So you have to have some skill in carpentry, otherwise you're gonna have to buy the maple lumber. Now, let's switch it out here. Let's get our carpentry. Let's craft some uh, maple lumber. Okay, 
let's grab some more maple lumber. Okay, okay, this is not working. Let's do one more maple lumber. Now, to get the, the wood, you'd have to, to specialize in botany as well. Okay, now let's go back in... Uh, First, we need to switch back to blacksmithing. rivets and the fish oil. I'm pretty sure we can buy fish oil from this guy here. We have a bronze saw. We need bronze rivets, though. and uh, work on all this later. But for now, let's head back in. Deliver a bronze ingot. Oh yes, we still need to make a bronze ingot. We used it up uh, while we were crafting. So let's uh, buy some copper ore and some tin ore. Alright, so we're about half an hour in. We're gonna take a break and uh, we'll be right back with more Final Fantasy XIV online.